Comedy legend Helen Ledger is lifting the lid on 40 years of life as one of Britain's funniest women in her memoir. It's called Not That I'm Bitter. There it is. It is a terrific read, beautifully written, full of, of course, funny moments. Yeah, Helen pictures too. was a familiar <laughs> face during the comedy boom. He likes photos. Yes. Like, like, he like, went straight to the just, pictures. Like, of course I did. Yeah. Oh, she's been with Princess Anne. I mean, you know, in the same room. I yes, did. That's I a did. plus. Anyway. <laughs> And in the 1980s, of course, you did Absolutely Fabulous and yeah. you did Bottom. A naked video. I looked that up on the internet. Such a mistake. I mean, <laughs> I tell you, oh. the pictures which came up... Oh, oh, oh my God, go there, there was one of you. But all the rest, I couldn't look at. No, well, of course you wouldn't, would you, Miss? Did I you know. literally just I Google did, naked I, I did, videos? I, I Googled naked video thinking it would tell me about you. It really no, didn't. because I have not been naked. That's not my shtick. I, I my shtick is writing humorous but painful and poignant this internet, memoirs. Gosh, look at it. Um, but of course, Helen has Sweet. been on our screens... Uh, three weeks ago, you popped up on Coronation Street. Oh, my, oh my God. I popped. And I laughed, <laughs> and I looked forward to more, um, Helen. Yes. Well, it was an honour, obviously, to get the call. Ta right, ta take us back. Yes. So, Ken Barlow, he's in, he's in the wine bar. Yes, he's in the hotel. In, in the wine the bar of the hotel. Woman. Yes. And it's because Steve's looking for uh, a girlfriend. Yes. But you are there at the bar. Mm. You don't take an interest and in And I'm wearing velvet, Susanna. I'm wearing a lovely... Well, I'm wearing velvet today in honour. I'm, I'm reliving you. the moment, actually, because it really struck me. It's a poignant moment. I'm at the bar and I order a cocktail and give it to him. To Ken. Yeah. He's looking good for 91, isn't he? So upright. Do you like older men? I, I like all comers. Um, I don't uh, divide, um, but I do like an upright human. And he is a what? A human. Right. Um, and he's very upright for his age, which okay. is 90 plus. It's extraordinary. Gosh. But the thing and is, Helen, it's not enough just to have seen you no. in one episode no. buying a drink for Ken. But at the end of the scene, you swap oh. numbers. Yes, and there's eye contact. <laughs> and you know that thing when, and you know when in real life, although obviously Corey is real life for many of us, um, when you think, yes, I've, I've pulled, because somebody then goes to the trouble. Yeah. And I saw Dr Hillary earlier and I gave him my card <laughs> and I saw him put it in his, in his pocket and I go, I've pulled again. Right. You know, you've got to follow through. You can't just go, hey, let's Dr. see. Dr Hillary is he 40 years through. younger. Yes, Dr. Holly. Yeah, well, no, but also upright. Uh, well, OK. <laughs> and, uh, I, I, I've not looked. He no, has, well, has, well you don't. Now. Only naked images for Mr. Balls. <laughs> I know. Anyway, but um, I'm glad you like the memoir, but I'm glad. I'm hoping I might go back, but... Um, it's a, To uh, Coronation yes, Street. For a I, second date. For a second date and, and follow through. Um, in a casual way as an older person, but I Back find... Back to his apartment? Yes, you keep finishing my sentences, which is good, because <laughs> I'm probably being quite slow. But what I think is when you um, want a job, do you, do you ever find this? You don't get it. But when you don't look, it's like when I met my second husband, when you stop looking, you bump into them immediately, because you're not looking. So that's when the call came for Corrie, because I didn't say, please, my be on Corrie, because I think that's needy, but it just came in. I love that. Yeah. Did so your agent rang and said... It went through the agent. Agent didn't ask either. Came from the cool. Corrie headqu headquarters. Yeah, came from the headquarters, from above. So the boss... The boss. The boss of Corrie Top. rings you. Yeah. Well, rang the agent, cos I, I don't want to oh. lie. Cos yeah. the other problem about... The, it's not segueing just like that, but I, I am alarmingly honest. It's a bit of a problem. And it's not a compliment when people say, Ed, you're looking a bit perplexed. I'm sorry, I'm talking too fast. But... Um, no, I'm loving it. I'm so excited to be with you. So brightly colours, pink, pink. And um, <laughs> the thing is, um, I do... I am alarmingly honest, and I think that can unnerve people. So I am... I hope I have a... So they said, we want an actress who can pull a 90-year-old man. Yeah. What or, you, how did you feel? Or 80 or 70. I'm, I, age does not define us, Mr Balls. Right. It doesn't. No. But what I liked is a little chat with him before we did our, our scene together. Yeah. Mm. Call it our scene together. We talked about Scrabble. With William Roach? <laughs> yes, I did. Good. He liked Scrabble. Uh, I talked about board games. Mm. You know, in that moment before... You, do you, what do you two talk about before oh. you have to be Well, we're, we're not on a date, of oh, course. No. Oh, you know. are you not? This is just a professional okay. partnership. <laughs> it really is. Not um, asking. But, I, but this is... You're setting up the second date. Perhaps you can Come have on. a sexy date playing Scrabble 
Yes, or I was thinking maybe a tarot card reader because you know when you, uh, I can just see myself in the velvet yeah. and sort of having a second, you know, sight of people and that confidence that people who yeah. kind of read the room because I'm not great at reading the room. As you, I am a silence filler, aren't I? I yeah. can fill a silence. I'm the perfect person to sit next to at a dinner party if it's awkward because I ask if you have hobbies or if you've got brothers and sisters. I'm perfect. I have to say, the one thing you've done in this interview is you've made me think to myself this summer on the beach, <laughs> I'm going to read this book. Oh, yes. If it's as yes. fun as talking to you now, it oh, will be good. a fabulous oh, read. I hope so. Maybe you could buy two. Or, or we have. Go. We oh, have wait, what two. is going on <laughs> When we double? go on holiday together, me and Ed Balls, as a couple, we're going to be lying on sun lounges, reading Have this. you read this bit? Exactly. Have you, only have you seen this picture? Pictures. He looks at the pictures, though. <laughs> yeah, don't show me the pictures that you're Googling, But though. it is alarmingly honest with a narrative through line that hopefully makes people laugh okay. and some awkwardness as well. And okay. that's life, isn't it? A little okay. bit of pain, but a little bit of humour. Come back to Coronation Brilliant. Street. It cannot happen soon enough. <laughs> that sexy tarot reading. <laughs> uh, Helen Ledra, thank you very Need much Need some water indeed. now, sorry. <laughs> yes, and, do, and do not Google naked video. Mm -mm. Here is Laura with the weather. <laughs>